Hey everybody, this is the uh, new for 2019 Topps Knives Rapid Strike. It's a small, everyday carry sort of tactical fixed knife, uh, fixed blade knife that uh, you could use for everyday cutting chores or for getting yourself out of that proverbial sticky situation with another human being. Uh, I was drawn to it immediately, uh, as I am to many, many Topps knives, but I like this one because it has some of the characteristics of small fixed blades that I like to carry uh, on a sort of daily basis. Uh, I kind of come in and out of carrying a fixed blade as a, as a sort of tertiary blade. Um, I go through stages is what I mean. And right now I am in that stage. And uh, in previous fixed blade carry stages, I have, um, I have gotten other knives, some Topps knives, some cold steel knives, uh, but uh, I've also made a few of my own uh, just just to sort of fit the kind of profile that's handy for me to carry uh, on an EDC basis. And I don't like carrying fixed blades in my front pocket, which I, I think is a cool idea in a small little pocket sheath. It's just not for me. Uh, so this 2019 uh, new Topps Knife Rapid Strike is, uh, well, let's just say it's incredibly appealing to me. Uh, I have uh, taken off the clip that came with it. came with this very nice and very stout um, metal clip, steel I think, uh, and I replaced it with this in the waistband loop. It's just my preferred carry. I usually carry it canted like this, my belt running through here, and then it sort of, uh, and then this in my pants, and then this sort of sticking out under my shirt. This knife comes in uh, two configurations two edge configurations, and I chose the double-edged. It's rare that I uh, find double-edged knives or that uh, there are double-edged knives that are appealing to me. I do like daggers, but um, <laughs> I just don't really have any. Uh, so when I saw this and that you could get it in double-edged, I jumped all over it. It kind of has, uh, as you see when I do size comparisons, it has some of the um, major qualities of a, of a slender fixed blade knife that I, I really like. So let me get into it. Rapid Strike 2019 Tops. Usually Tops does their knives in uh, 1095 high carbon steel. This one they made in 154 cm and now I suspect that's because this is a small uh, tactical fixed blade that you might carry close to your body and uh, 1095 isn't always the best thing for that when you're carrying a knife close to your body and you're sweating and and um, spending all day with it near you. Um, I've had knives, uh, especially with this sort of bead blast on them, uh, start to rust on me uh, pretty quickly, you know, by the end of the day, let's say. So uh, I think they went with the right steel here with the 154 cm which is uh, quite easy to resharpen, but, but holds its edge nicely. And with a knife like this, you're not going to be out uh, uh, batoning wood with it or, or doing much heavy um, utility chores with it, though you could, especially in the single-bladed, uh, single-edged configuration. Uh, this is more of a backup knife, and, uh, and uh, as such, I got it with that double edge. 154 cm, as I mentioned, uh, and G10. The other characteristic uh, commonly found in Topps knives is micarta. This one has uh, this black G10 with the beautiful red liners and uh, this, to me, very appealing jimping pattern, which carries all the way around the blade but does not sit proud of the G10. So it's not gonna it's not gonna aggravate your hands, but if you're really gripping hard and digging into it, you'll get some functional gription from this. Um, at first, I was a little bit concerned about schmutz getting in there, a little mud and that kind of thing, but then I realized you're not, I'm not anyway, going out in the field, and uh, the field being my backyard, and using this to do anything uh, heavy, heavy, so there's not really going to get much stuff in there. Maybe some lint, but you just blow it out and it's gone. Um, this handle here is topped, the pommel is topped with this... Um, pyramid, pyramidal shape here that's uh, perfect for glass breaking. And uh, if you're in reverse grip, and I like to cap the uh, cap the back of the handle in reverse grip, it's a little pointy, but if you get the crook of your finger right on there, it kind of fits nicely. So 
I very much like the handle. It is quite slender, and, and I uh, gave it to a, a guy at work to hold on to, and he's got really big hands, and he found it a little too slender for him. But for me, uh, it fits, fits very nicely. These uh, three or four jimps right here work great to capture your thumb. They're, uh, I don't want to say aggressive, but let's say assertive. Uh, they aren't, they're not going to tear up your thumbs, but your thumb is not going to slip up onto that double edge. I would imagine even on a thrust. And chances are you're going to be thrusting this into something soft anyway. Uh, but I have not tested that, for sure. But uh, what I can tell is, especially with gloves, these are really going to grip. Because they really grip on my thumb. You'll see this little uh, nut here. And you might wonder what that is. That... That helps make the uh, the connection with the kydex. See that little that little uh, inverse dimple. It gives a very positive connection with the uh, with the kydex sheath. But over the week I've had this, I've had this for about a week. The kydex has loosened uh, or worn into a perfect perfect fit, where I can just give it a little nudge with my thumb on this little uh, peak, and it pops right out. And then when I'm returning it to the sheath, it doesn't take a lot of effort to get it into, into place. It's perfect. It's a perfect fit. No rattle. No nothing. Um, very nice sheath. So the ergonomics on this thing are quite nice for me. Uh, like I said, someone with big giant hands might, might find it a, a little slent, too slender. Um, it's got this great pommel for knocking heads or breaking glass. It's got the double edge for <laughs> for close-in CQB work, the kind of stuff I do on a daily basis, you know what I mean? And it's got these two really kind of ridiculously unfunctional uh, lanyard holes. I'm not even sure what they're for. Maybe they're not even lanyard holes, but they're so small, nothing's really going to go through there except maybe some, some sewing thread. Um, yeah, so... I find this knife incredibly appealing at <clears throat> four inch blade, eight and a half inches overall. It's kind of in, the, in a sweet spot for me. So size comparisons. Let's take a look at a couple of other knives that it might compare uh, nicely to. We have, uh, first I'll start with another great small EDC fixed blade tops knife, the Cut 4. You can see it's about the same size, same shape, and uh, if you have this knife, it's got just about the same jimping. But uh, look at how much more massive this thing is. Now there is a benefit to having the the round end uh, the round end of the pommel and the curved handle um, in the way I carry it, which is on the back like this, because it kind of curves up and hides nicely, whereas this kind of protrudes straight straight out. So they both have their their pluses and minuses, but these two compare nicely. Um, same size, same kind of purpose, at least for me. Though this one has much more of a utility and outdoors uh, bent to it. Another knife that this compares nicely to is the CRKT little knife here designed by Lucas Burnley. I can't remember what it's called. So sorry, but you could look it up and find it. Um, same kind of deal. You got this small um, small fixed blade knife with a with a pretty handy little handle and a uh, very grippy handle actually and a nice little slender blade that you can hide away. This is not as light as this so I would not be hanging this from my neck as a neck knife but uh, it's kind of in the same ballpark and uh, some of you might be thinking what I'm thinking which is this Topps Rapid Strike compares very similarly or fav favorably with the cold steel spike. Now granted, it's about five times the cost as the cold steel spike. You could get every spike in the uh, cold steel catalog for the price of the Rapid Strike, which is 119 bucks, double-edged. I think it's 110 without the double edge. Uh, but it's, if you have a tops spike, I mean, I'm sorry, if you have a um, cold steel spike, you'll kind of get a very good idea of how this carries, um, even though this is much lighter. That's jumping I added. And then let me get out one other knife that is kind of a an oddball in this comparison, but 
would kind of be carried for the same purpose, and that's the uh, cold steel safe maker, the big one. Same kind of purpose. You're, it's a knife you're going to keep on you uh, to pull out and stick into somebody if uh, you know if if words fail, I guess. Um, and I speak cavalierly about this. Of course, that would be a horrible thing, and I would never want that to happen to me. But let's just be real. That's the purpose of this uh, kind of knife. So this showing you this shows you the different kind of option you could have for a double-edged, tuck-away, hide-away knife. You have uh, the benefit of a, about the same blade length with a much shorter package. Then again, it's a much wider package, and it's got this grippy uh, craton handle, which... Uh, which snags and grips onto clothing and such. So everything everything you're going to look at is going to have uh, pluses and minuses. Um, but this this rapid strike is is really a fit in the bill these days. Uh, you can take off the handle scales using a small uh, this is not, uh, these are torques using a small torx wrench and uh, clean under there if you get too much grime and grit sliding under there so it's uh it's sort of modular if you will um and you could you could make a fresh handle for it which would be kind of cool green micarta i think would look awesome but then again i like green micarta on just about everything let me get these out of the way bring this up yes here it is the tops rapid strike it says y-285 here i'm assuming that's the model number um and there it is. I highly recommend it. Uh, I love Topps knives, and this one is no exception. They have a couple of really, really cool looking knives coming out this year, and uh, I'm thinking of checking some more of them out. If I do, I will show them off for sure, and I definitely want to do a video on my small but growing Topps collection. I've been told I move and handle the knife too much and it's hard to look at. So for that, I apologize. Put this down. All right. Thank you guys. Thanks for watching. Take care.